Let's go, it's time. It's time, it's time. Yeah, we got it. Don't, no. Give me a little bit of breath. It is. Can you see that? It is. Hi guys, my name is Anna and I'm into the binary options trading. That's a little bit windy because I'm in Dubai Resort and I'm at the Lamborghini. So guys, if you want to know more, if you want to get more results, profits, knowledge, you can just proceed to my Telegram link, to my Telegram channel where I post 12 signals per day and you can use it and get the same. Hi guys, here is Miyana, and I'm right there at Aquatics platform, just as always. I am right here on that spot. I am five years in trading, and I think two years or even more just at this right spot. And if you are still watching this binary options, this trading from the sidelines, this is just the moment, this is just the place where you actually can join it. You can dive in, you can be safely having your profits. And the Squatix platform, which I personally love a lot, is the perfect, perfect tool just to get all your financial inspiration. So, we go. Okay guys, let's make that shortly. Of course, we're gonna be starting with a one minute interval. And this is the whole sum that we're gonna be using. Maybe the straight, the full of it, or maybe just by parts. And I'm starting with the sum part of it. Currency pairs and just the currencies with the biggest payouts and actually it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I am kind of satisfied with the Quadex because of that. Unfortunately for me, we're gonna be using 10 seconds and I know that's kind of more, I don't know, it's, it's making more show when it's like 10 seconds. And when it's 15 seconds, that's making more profits and stability in your life. Kellner channel, Bells Power, and that's gonna be the third more. I'm just finishing with all the setups, just to see that better, just to read that better, just to use that better, and just to profit. And volume oscillator, not awesome. Volume oscillator is gonna be the third one. We are not so frequently kind of changing it, but let's leave it. Let's try it like that. Here we are, Bows Power, Volume Oscillator, and the Kelvin Channel. Let's go. Let's make it quickly and shortly, just because Volume Oscillator in most of the cases are not so helpful, I'm sorry, but it is all that strategy kind of easy, easy, readable. We are kind of at the bottom after the longest sliding and I hope we're going to be rising. I must say that with the bounce power, that's a little bit tricky because we're actually reaching the zero level. We're reaching the ground and we're trying to get upper. But you may see that with the volume oscillator, maybe the period, maybe 10 seconds can be bad for that. But you can see these orange candles and I don't like it because even on the chart, we can see all the rising. We can see all these green candles. These tiny, tiny or just I don't likely downward movement on the green candle. So it's not like perfectly rising. It's giving us the orange candle or the volume oscillator and it's given it's given instability if I'm being honest, but right there, we just finishing that some profit and even with that destroying <laughs> oscillator we are still still profitable and let's raise it now we actually earned that and we can get for some more and right there i think that's kind of the same we don't need some heavy explanations. The only difference that we entered a little bit earlier than the previous time, we are just finishing the trend and catching this beginning of the opposite one and we gotta get upward. And what we need to know about the Kelton channel, because I think I didn't mention that before in this video, that at the moment when we can detect that it's getting narrow, this is gonna be the change. At least that's gonna be maybe short, but the opposite trend. It is trying to get to the opposite direction. I don't like this one, so I wanna skip it and to see what's gonna be just in the end. 
and I don't know why I, I actually made it in the pause because it's 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 kind of fast it's moving fast time moves fast yeah and here yes that's been actually not so perfect because all almost all the time i was kind of not so profitable but just in the end we jump in and the last train home and got it it's a profit let's not make the same mistakes more more and more Okay, I think that easy one, again, the easy one. <laughs> uh, that's the peak, but I don't like this. I don't like these candles when it's supposed to rise in because you can see the gaps. You can see that sometimes we cannot even see the candle and that's risky. That's the high volatility. That means that it was actually just flying and that's too fast. So that's not the perfect one, but I hope it's gonna be okay by the time but we are kind of fine. I was really, really scared how it's gonna be, but we are just at the bottom. So, and catching it, just, let's go, it's time, it's time, it's time. Yeah, we got it at the perfect bottom, at the lowest point, almost lowest as we could be. That was the rightest one, even with this crazy candle. Let's check this one, raise it and get into it. So right there, we still plan for some future movements. I, I am surprised. I thought it's gonna be more, more, more of downward trend and then we're gonna be finishing it and then getting upward. And I'm supposed to be kind of happy that it's getting already upward, but it's a little bit tricky and risky also, because if that's the fast upward trend, that could be the fast downward trend. And this downward trend are gonna be right there when we're gonna be finishing the bat. So I am not so happy, but I think it's gonna be all fine. But what about the Kelton channel? Have you seen what's going on? How it is actually adjusting? It's getting narrow and then like, no, 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 that's, that's wasn't it. Don't look at that. And just as I told you, don't, no, give me a little bit of breath. Why? Why we, we cannot see it right there? So I'm just getting a little bit confused because of it, because I was almost sure that it's gonna be something like not a profit, but no, we are still right there. And you can see that we were correct about that present, but that was just a tiny moment when we have inconvenience. Okay, let's make this one as the last one. It feels like the endless, I don't know why. Okay. How do we feel about this one? It feels like... I cannot say that this is the peak, but I think that I can predict that it's gonna be still the fallen because the peak was a while ago and it wasn't so long time ago and we're still gonna be continuing that downward trend. Let's see. It is. Can you see that? It is just better than me, getting me scared and nervous. I like the strategy, if I'm being honest. I quite like it. So, the end. The end. Oh my God. Again, we were so close. I was so close to the disaster. And let me just explain it correctly. It's not about the strategy. It's about this time frame of the candles. I hate this 10 seconds because it's jumping. It is rushing and it's actually so, so, complicated and you are getting too much nervous. That's my opinion on that. Guys, we just done. I wanted and I plan just to make it as easy, as quick as it gets. But actually with this 10 seconds interval and you know that there's a lot of the traders who love the dynamic. This is the short trading. We can get the results just in a minute and they love side dynamics. They wanna get more nervous, have more adrenaline. If I'm being honest, that's not my option maybe because I'm a little bit girlish and that, but I wanna just have stable profits. And if you're on that track also, you can join, you can have all of my signals and just don't forget to check 
all of the links that I have below this video or just on my bio and be attentive. There is a lot of fake accounts with my pictures, which I do not recommend even to answer. So guys, that's it.